take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Cut the head of cabbage in half and cut each half into one and a half, wedges leaving the root intact to hold the wedges together. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. If using bacon fat, or bacon, add to the boiling water for flavor. Add cabbage wedges and boil 8 to 12 minutes or just until tender. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. How to cut cabbage step by step. Remove any outer layers of the cabbage that seem tough or are not fresh, and discard them. With a large chef's knife, slice off the root of the cabbage. Cut the cabbage in half through the stem. Cut the cabbage into quarters. Remove the root of the cabbage by cutting it out diagonally. Take our lead. Here's a simple way to separate and soften the cabbage leaves. First, using a paring knife, core a large head of cabbage, then carefully place the whole head of cabbage into a half-filled pot of simmering water. Cover. After about a minute, the leaves will begin to peel away. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Roast chicken, ham, oven cooked kielbasa with potatoes and cabbage, stuffed cabbage with beef or pork and rice in a tomato sauce, chicken and dumplings with cabbage, vegetable soup, etc. One of my favorite ways to cook the cabbage is to render down some bacon, thinly slice potatoes and onions. Take our lead. Cabbage's unfortunate reputation stems from two things, a long-standing tendency by many people to overcook it, and the fact that it's undeniably tough when raw. But a simple treatment for raw cabbage, salting, makes it just a tad more tender and considerably more flavorful while preserving its distinctive crunch. Take our lead. It's packed with nutrients half a cup of cooked cabbage has about a third the vitamin C you need for the day. It also gives you doses of fiber, folate, potassium, magnesium, vitamins A and K, and more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.